In this video, I will be unboxing my brand new Parrot Air Drone 2.0. As you see, it's a very large box. Barely fits in frame. And that's where I ordered it from, which was on their Parrot's website. And it was very fast shipping and uh, free shipping of that. And <clears throat> I got this from Newegg wireless repeater so I could extend the range of the unit so I could really take it far, far up. It's a wireless repeater slash range extender. So a uh, quick look at the uh, box. HD camera, 1280 by 720 resolution. You can control it with your uh, Android or iOS device. It has a stabilization system, photo video recording, 50 meter slash 165 foot range, uh, real time video. The first AR drone didn't have an HD camera, so that's a major upgrade. Uh, and also, this one is more stable than the previous version. I think it has a pressure sensor and a gyroscope, which I'm not sure that the first one had. Um, So you have a high definition streaming recording. So you can just take a look at all that. So you can basically watch what you're doing on your plant as you fly it. And you can record what you see directly on your device or by using a USB key. <clears throat> And uh, this supports um, Wi-Fi BGN, so it's preferable that you use this with a device that has wireless N capability, such as the iPhone 4. This will work with a 3GS, but 3GS doesn't support wireless um, N, so you won't be able to get as far with it. So that's the main body of the unit. That's the indoor hull, which is foam, outdoor hull, charger, battery, and as you see, I bought a second battery, which was $40. This unit was $300 shipped. And this is, was $70 a new egg, and there's a $10 mail in rebate, so that's going to come out to $60 once I get my rebate back. So now let's proceed with the opening of the box here. And I ordered that second battery right off the bat because I know that the average flying time on this is right around 10 minutes, give or take. Sometimes it could be a little bit more, sometimes it could be less. I think it all depends on how you're flying it. This one also has a flip function. It does like a barrel roll that uses more power. And I would guess that the higher you fly it or further away, it probably also drain the power more. Here's a box, I believe that's used as a landing pad, this sign here, <clears throat> for its virtualization software. Uh, so here you have this is a whole unit, it's already assembled. Um, this is the charging unit. Actually, this, these are just the adapters, because it's kind of a universal charger, and you can use adapters to suit whatever location you live at. Here is a um, battery, and as you see, there's my second one. This is the charger itself, and this is where those adapters clip onto. Now on to the, wow, this is so light. That's sticking on to something here, though. Let's see. There we go. 
Well, this is so incredibly light. Feels like nothing. Let's try to get some better light onto here. And here's your HD camera. Your landing gear. So let us see. Here is the outdoor hall. Here are some very stickers you can use to mark locations with. Because there's um soft re download. And you can create virtual races and stuff. Instruction manual. See if there's anything else here. That would appear to be. Yep, that would appear to be it. So let's take a quick look at the um, adapters now. These are your various adapters. I'm in the US, so I would be using this one. Let's see if I can uh, clip it on. Looks like it plugs in and spins. Alright, it's notched so it only goes one way. And there you have it, it snapped. And by the way, the batteries for this will only work with this version of the unit. It won't work with the original air drone. And this would plug in, I believe. Yeah, that seems to do it. So um, <clears throat> that's it with the unboxing. I will uh, give this uh, a charge, and uh, I will do a quick unboxing of the Hawking Technology router in another video. I thought I would extend my unboxing video to show you um, with the canopy ch canopy changed with the indoor hall. Just to maybe make you guys a little bit more complete. So you take these, uh, this little plastic protector off here. And uh, over here. That didn't work out. Well, these plastics are done. I can take off this hole.
is how small the unit is. My hand is comparison. And just so you know, my hand is bigger than my uh, iPhone. This is where you would plug in um, your USB key if you want to record directly on the device itself. Let's take this plastic off the bottom. This does have a, a down facing camera as well. Just only the front facing camera is HD. Where was that hole? Okay. This has more plastic -y bits protecting this. Let me see if I could put it on without moving that. Putting this, that's the camera. Yeah, it looks like it held, held down magnetically. And as you see, it's a lot more portable without the external, the indoor gear on. Okay, you can stay tuned for videos of me showing it to you in flight as well as the camera view from the uh, from the sky itself at high altitude thank you for watching please give me thumbs up if you like me